Hey friends, thanks for tuning in to another Team Jesus Outdoors. In this episode, I'm going to share with you a few tips for finding and catching perch on Lake St. Clair. How you doing? Good looking dog. Thank you. German short here. Thank you. Enjoy that game tonight. Huh? Enjoy that game tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever, whenever the weather permits, I prefer to not fish from shanty. I really prefer to stay on the move. You want to start in a place that you know holds fish. You know, on St. Clair, year in, year out, guys catch perch in the same locations. going to start by punching a series of holes. I punch holes in pairs and using a, using a map or just my general knowledge of an area I'll typically start near the edge of the flat towards the first break and I, dr I drill a series of holes that I know will put me some holes up on the flat, some holes near the break. Next level. Today was I drilled that first series of three holes I found fish at each set of holes but they were small fish so I hopped around from spot to spot in that series of holes trying to find larger fish which I never found
I pushed out a little bit deeper and drilled a couple more sets of holes. And then finally I went out a third time and drilled another couple sets of holes. And I spent the next hour, hour and a half checking those deeper holes. I missed him. Missed him clean. He got my got my grub and I missed him. By then a lot of the guys on the ice were saying that the bite had shut off. A lot of guys were packing up, heading in. Today's Super Bowl Sunday, so a lot of us are trying to get in in plenty of time to get home for the Super Bowl. I know I personally I've got plans at church tonight for the Super Bowl. I think the most important thing to keep in mind is to keep moving. Typically in a day of ice fishing, I will fish at least eight or 10 different holes. Sometimes 20 or more. If you're not on fish or you're not on the right size fish, it's crazy to sit there and spend any more time. My favorite bait is just a plain old tungsten jig. This is a fat boy tungsten jig and it's a glow it's a glow jig. I love to use a tungsten jig to present either spikes or waxies or often both or to present the minnow. In most areas of the country you're gonna find churches that put on wild game dinners in the wintertime. These wild game dinners are a lot of fun, they're a great way to start our kids into thinking about the outdoors. I encourage you to find a church near you that puts on a wild game dinner and get your kids involved in a wild game dinner. A lot of times there's giveaways for the kids. I know my sons just love to go to wild game dinners. We try to hit one or two every year. Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. Hey, I hope these quick tips help you out next time you find yourself on the ice. Can I give you guys a hand? Can I give you a hand? I'm getting ready to take off, but I see you got a broken auger, so just point where you want them. How many you want and where you want them? Two.